welcome to the Black Shoals course. When Fisher Black and Myron Shoals first developed their now famous formula, it is doubtful anyone could have imagined the impact it would have. Options have been around for hundreds of years. However, there had never been an accepted standardized way of, pay, of pricing options. There were lots of previous attempts. However, these methods usually included assumptions that could not easily be quantified, such as overall sentiment, and all previous attempts to develop a standardized formula failed. In fact, many economists did not feel it was even possible to model markets with a mathematical formula. Building on the work of others before them, Black and Scholes stripped down and simplified the option pricing formula. They expanded on the idea that, if risk could be theoretically removed from all markets, then derivative pricing in this risk-free world would simply be the intrinsic value of the derivative based on some basic assumptions about market movements with the value of time factored in. And therefore, for pricing an option or other derivative in the real world, one would simply take pricing in the risk-free world and include simple probability of outcome. To prove their theories, Black and Scholes, along with the help of Robert Merton, used stochastic Edo calculus to develop what is known as a dynamic hedge, a theoretical way to remove all risks by taking two offsetting positions that are continuously rebalanced to each other so that the two positions are always perfectly hedged and the combined position cannot lose money. The dynamic hedge proves that something called the drift rate is the risk-free rate, and it is this proof that is the center point behind the awarding of the Nobel Peace Prize to the developers of the Block Scholes formula in 1997. Don't worry if you don't understand any of this yet, we will cover all this in the course. After the Black Scholes formula was first published in 1973, option trading exploded in popularity. Within a couple of months, the Chicago Board of Options Exchange opened up and the option market has never looked back. This quickly led to new derivative instruments being traded such as credit default swaps, designed not only to offer speculation opportunities, but more importantly to reduce risk exposure by acting as insurance policies. Currently, the value traded in the derivatives market each year is estimated to be in the trillions, making it one of the largest markets in the world. While derivatives certainly have both their positives and negatives, one thing that is clear is that the Black Scholes formula revolutionized the financial industry, and it has been since called the most important mathematical formula ever discovered in finance. Learning the Black Scholes formula is not just for those who are interested in options and options trading. It is an important area for all traders to study, as well as anyone who is interested in markets in general. It will allow you to model past and future price direction. It will show you the probability of future outcomes. It will open up a whole new world to explore for trading edges, and it will give you the tools that help you refine. It will give you tools that will help you refine your trading system. The Black Scholes formula will give you a whole new perspective on market movement that will literally change the way you think about markets. While the first months of the formula can be a bit overwhelming, don't be intimidated by the math or the terminology. I break things down step by step very clearly, and in addition to showing how to solve the math, I also show step by step how to easily let Excel do the math for you. Actually, the math is probably the least important part of the course. In this course, I have broken down the Black Scholes formula into several sections. In the beginning section, I go over the intuition and the assumptions behind the formula, which for many, can be the most valuable part of the course. Then I show how to price an option, first if the risk was removed, and then with the risk added back in. While that may seem a bit strange now, hopefully it will all make sense by the time we are through. I then show a step-by-step -step example broken down and explained in detail. In addition, there are some addendum type videos that cover some of the important details of the formula, such as probability curves and volatility, also known as standard deviation. For those who have not had previous exposure to these topics, or just need a refresher. I hope you find this course both interesting and educational. It is my goal to show and explain the Black Scholes formula in a complete, clear, easy to understand way that has never been done before. One final point. The Black Scholes formula is now the accepted textbook formula that explains in part how markets are supposed to work.
This formula has its known limits and weaknesses, some of which can be built upon or even exploited. In the real world, things do not always work the way they are supposed to. Sometimes a fair coin lands on its side.